Right, downtown Prague, heading for the park. Um, we've been a big group, and now we're only four left. Um, and we have an American with us. Say hello. Hello. Where are you from? I'm George from California. And what do you think so far? What do I think? What do you think so far? I think we had a good time. And you've been here before, right? Yes. Yeah. Third time. Third time. So he's a regular. And uh, there is um, Tron, I already met him, he found us uh, a very good uh, spot yesterday where we found some nice hammers. Um, I will show them to you later. But now we're heading to the park uh, to try to find some old uh, silver coins and some jewelry. And uh, might be good. And this time Ed didn't bring his detector, so I might even find something. Sights and sounds from India. <laughs> you remember that CNN? Sights and sounds of India? Yeah. Please, mister, give me money. <coughs> so we started on our first area. And, you know, these guys, they make coin out of every metal on the book. Uh, and it's not unusual to say, I haven't seen this one before. And I haven't. Have you seen this before? I, I never, I cannot place this. Not in the modern era, not in the Soviet era, not in the no. 1900s. It's very strange. Can be a token. Mm. What have you got? One. George. I don't think it's anything. That's uh, 20, uh, 20 oh, cents. Oh, those things, yeah. Uh, with the star. So it's from the Soviet. Oh. Made out of uh, some strange. But this one is heavy. Uh, maybe like a lead uh, toe. Well, none of us have found anything spectacular yet. So we're. Moving over to a new area. There's hardly any people around. Of course, you get attacked by a dog every 10 minutes. This is not the country to go if you don't like dogs. There's one over there. So we're gonna find a new area. I'm hoping for some old piece of jewelry. That's what I'm hoping for. Well, I'm Nothing. not. I'm not sure. I don't want to see results. I'm not sure. <coughs> but you took. you rested. Well, moss and roots. Uh, I think this is over. Right. On the third of the so. It isn't. I don't know. I didn't get a look at it. So. Damn! This one had me fooled. I thought it was a black. Very self. I only had a look at that side. I, I thought I had a ten kreutzer. But this is only 1920s or whatever. It's not silver. But we're gonna hit this place anyway. We are on our way to lunch, and Eddie has been kind enough to hire some workers to dig through the soil there. So you can actually see the history of Prague layer by layer. <laughs> wanted to hunt those. Uh, <laughs> Lumps over there, but no go. No. We have wood. That's wood. I think the videos have contained very little alcohol so far. Check this out. Uh, Ivan decided to try this and it's a pear. A small, small pear inside and you go like this. Skulls. I got the bear. Holy God. And here's my starter. 
Uh, yes. good. So we are returning after lunch. As you might remember or recall, this park used to be the private hunting grounds of some king. And that yellow building over there is the hunting lodge. It's not very impressive when you compare it with the size of the park. But I want to show it to you. I'm not sure when they opened this park up for the public. But we're gonna try our luck in a new place. Hopefully something will show up. It's kind of frisky, kind of cold. But we've got a couple of more hours until we have to head back with the train to Colin. Finally, I think I've hit silver, but not in its usual form. It's a cufflin, and I suspect it's only silver plated. Let's have a look. It's a cufflin for a shirt. Yeah. Uh, it's black and it's got a monogram, but I can't see it. Stamp. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, mm. Me. <laughs> it's raining, we're seeking cover, but George made a very special find. Look at that. I mean, it's a pretty ornate watch. Yeah, somebody went to some trouble in making it. Yeah. That must have given a high signal. It's not a whistle. Yeah. It's not a whistle, it's not for Don't smoking. Scream. Whoa! Oh, hey. yoy, yoy. Whoa, whoa. With a nice stone. That's, that's... Let me see that's, that's a good one. You got some good this. This is old. Yeah. Mm. That might be so. <laughs> is that a... Hmm. Is that a stone? It's not going to be easy to clean it though. Well, they got the jewelry. I didn't get it. Uh, it doesn't matter. I have a lot of nice coins to show you anyway. This was cool. <laughs> if anyone has any idea, drop a line. Look at that. I mean, it's a pretty ornate watch. Somebody went to some trouble in making it. Yeah. That must have given a high signal. It's not a whistle. Yeah. It's not a whistle, it's not for Don't smoking. Scream. Whoa! Oh, hey. yo, yo. Whoa, whoa. With a nice stone. That's, that's... Let me see if you That's a good one. You got some good this. This is old. Yeah. That might be so. <laughs> is that a... Hmm. Is that a stone? It's not going to be easy to clean it though. Well, they got the jewelry. Mm. I didn't get it. Uh, it doesn't matter. I have a lot of nice coins to show you anyway. This was cool. <laughs> if anyone has any idea, drop a line. Back in our famous office. I think Czech beer is kind of overrated, so I brought my own. Oh, ass, as you like to call it. And you know what? It's excellent. So as you know, we've been a group down here. It's been a lot of work and I haven't had time to show you some good finds, but today I will. Basically, this is my 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 um, hammer silvers and Tron's hammer, hammer silvers. I think we are the two that f have found the most hammers. I have four. I have three. Yeah. Then I think we are, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, um, it's a shame, I, uh, there was one other guy, he left, he made a fantastic coin. I can't show you that, unfortunately, but that was incredible. Uh, we haven't identified it yet. But basically, uh, it's, we're talking 1600s, 
Unfortunately, we're not down in the 1500s with uh, with um, Rudolf. We're with this guy, Leopold, and it's kind of complicated. You know, he's king of Hungary. He's holy Roman Emperor of Rome. He's king of Hungary. He's king of Hubemia. It they have so many titles. These guys it makes it a bit hard. We got two one Kreuzers. That is from 1680 to 1699 that's these guys interestingly enough one of them I'll show you a macro later but one of them has got his portrait outside of the rim which all of the samples here have but we've managed to find one where the portrait is inside then we have three three fennings 1669 1694 and 1696 that's these guys probably pocket change but at least they were minted on both sides as opposed to we've got two mystery show two mystery con uh, coins one from 1677 obviously that put us in the same period as Leopold so it might be a Leopold who knows and we have another one which we have not been able to identify and tomorrow we're going back to a beautiful church in Kutnahura in the forest to dig more. And basically most of these silvers were found in that area, including that Roman coin. It turned out to be real, but quite common and not, uh, it's not valuable, it's not, uh, it's not uh, something we have to report it's uh it's made of brass uh, but it's still a very nice big and cool cool coin now let's have a look at the coins i'm starting off with the two one kreuzers leopold that's the one that's the portrait this is the same but this one is heavily attacked by sulfite it needs more more cleaning and or more time in acid and you can see it says Leopold and the portrait is completely within the rim which separates it from this but we know it's the same king and the same coin so we got two of those one Kreutzer and that's the highest nomination we have found our dream tomorrow <laughs> not promising anything is to move up move up to a three Kreutzer but that will be hard. Moving on, we've got our three three fennings. They have the same design, the scepter, the, th the number three, the year there, there's a cross, and on the other side they have the eagle. Probably pretty common. We've got three of those. Good. Moving on to the mystery coins. This one we have not been able to identify at all. We know it's from 1677, which was the time that Leopold reigned. You can see the nomination at the bottom at 6 o'clock. It's a fraction, it's 1 over 2. So it's a half of something. But what? Is it a half fenning? Is it a half Kreutzer? Probably not half a Kreutzer. It's only struck on one side. We're doing research, but so you got two circles with the eagles. A very clear year. It should be 1677 if I'm not overly intoxicated. And we are looking for identification. I'll get back to you on that one. And we have another one. It's very worn. That's the one I found when the dogs attacked me in that shit field. It's actually, it's so worn. It's hard to identify, but it's possible. So basically, we have seven hammered silvers. We're very happy. And tomorrow, it's our last day. And we're going back to Kutnahura. I'm going to show you a movie. We're going to go, we're, it's a forest hunt. We're going to systematically uh, go through a forest with a beautiful view to a cathedral. Right, I'm checking out. It's been a long day. It's 11 o'clock. Um, 
and we're having a good time because we are cleaning our finds and drinking beer and yeah it's been a good night it's been it's been a good day although the hunt in the park didn't produce any coins of significance we, we found a lot of the early 1900s and bullshit coins but um, yeah it wasn't a good hunt but you have to have some bad days as well we found some rings and some stuff as you have seen in this film but tomorrow we have great expectations and we're having a la last beer cheers cheers and Ivan mm, cheers cheers digging Norwegians checking out from Colin see you tomorrow